Hello, and welcome to another video of Methuklasan. The one sample t test determines whether a sample comes from a population with a specific mean. This population mean is only sometimes known, but is sometimes hypothesized. Before conducting the test, make sure the following assumptions are met. First, your dependent variable should be measured at the interval or ratio level. Second, the data are independent. Third, there should be no significant outliers. Fourth, your dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed. Here is an example. Filipinos spent an average of 3.72 hours per day accessing their social media accounts on various devices in January 2023. A researcher decided to test if the average usage in their subdivision differs from the reported value. He randomly selected 40 residents in their area, and asked them, how long do you usually use your social media accounts on various devices in a day? The null hypothesis states that the average usage of Massapag subdivision residents is not different from the national average, 3.72 hours. From the example, the dependent variable is the respondent's social media usage in terms of hours. All in all, we have 40 samples. The data is continuous, so the first assumption was met. Since each data is coming from a different household, samples are not related to each other. With this, the second assumption was met. To check for outliers, go to Analyses, Exploration, and Descriptives. Then, drag the Social Media Usage in the Dependent Variable box. Here, the sample's mean is 4.80, making it larger than the hypothesized mean of 3.72. Press the drop-down panel named Plots and select Box Plot. For our data set, there are no outliers because there are no points beyond the plot. If an outlier is present, the figure will have this point. Number 1 here refers to the outlier in row 1. To test the normality, select the Statistics drop-down panel and choose Shapiro-Wilk. Note that if the p-value of the Shapiro-Wilk test is greater than 0.05, the data is normal. In this case, since the p-value is 0.22 and greater than 0.05, our sample data set is approximately normally distributed. Now that we have met all the assumptions, we can proceed with the one-sample t-test. Go to Analyses, t-tests, and one-sample t-test. Transfer or drag the social media usage in the dependent variable box. In the hypothesis section, we can select the type of test that we need to use. If it is a two-tailed test, select the first circle. If it is a right-tailed test, select the second. And if it is a left-tailed test, choose the last circle. The hypothesized mean in the problem is 3.72. You may select the mean difference to compare the sample mean from the hypothesized mean. Here, the sample mean is 1.08 hours larger than the hypothesized mean. But is this difference significant or not? The positive t-value confirms that the sample mean exceeds the hypothesized mean. It will be negative if the hypothesized mean exceeds the sample mean. With a degree of freedom of 39 and a p-value less than 0.001 or 1%, the decision is to reject the null hypothesis.
By rejecting the null hypothesis, we will now conclude that Massapag subdivision residence average usage differs from the national average of 3.72 hours. And that's all for this video. If you want to know more about data analysis in Jamovi, please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell for updates. See you in the following video.